there has been a huge surge in the market for wireless earbuds from OnePlus Nords to Realme. Everyone has made a foray into the audio space. But what truly matters is how they perform. The Vivo TWS2 with active noise cancellation was recently launched and comes as the successor to the TWS1 launched two years ago. In our Cellguru review, we find out how the earbuds stand out against competition. When it comes to the design of the TWS2, it is pretty standard fare. One cannot miss the similarity to the Apple AirPods Pro case. There is a function key and a charging light in the front. The device has a plastic finish which made it prone to fingerprint smudges and scratches. The earbuds themselves are lightweight at approximately 5 grams and does not feel uncomfortable even after wearing them for hours. Shipping with three sizes of the silicon tip, small, medium and large, they fit well and do not fall off while exercising or jogging. Though the buds require a small anti-clockwise swivel to get that perfect fit. It also comes with a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. The buds have a IP54 dust and water resistance rating and can withstand splash, rain and sweat. However, the case is not resistant to water. They can be paired using the function key in the front of the case. Once paired, the earbuds automatically get connected to the smartphone or laptop. The earbuds supports Bluetooth 5.2 with Qualcomm's aptX adaptive high-quality audio codec. If your device does not support the codec, it will automatically support AAC. aptX adaptive is the default codec and one needs to turn it off manually. The Vivo TWS ANC are pressure sensitive and does not support touch control. You will have to use two fingers to apply pressure on the stem of the earbud to access control. You can control the volume, calls, switch between modes and works without a hitch. You can customize the controls from the settings of a FunTouch OS running Vivo phone. For other Android phones, you will have to download the app. The app is currently not supported on iOS. Coming to the sound of the Vivo TWS2, the audio quality of the earbuds can make or break the experience for the user. While listening to music, podcasts and audiobooks, there is adequate clarity in the audio. The volume levels were on the muted side. We were unable to hear the sound when the volume was set slightly below 50%. Now to the ANC. We did not find much difference with ANC disabled and enabled. It did create a vacuum but were not what we had expected at this price point. We were able to hear ambient sound. The buds themselves pack a 45 mAh battery that promises about 4 hours of backup with noise cancellation enabled. With noise cancellation disabled, the battery life is about 7.3 hours. We used the earbuds with noise cancellation on and got about 3.5 hours of usage. Very close to what Vivo promised. The buds do not come with fast charging and takes about an hour to fully charge. Priced at Rs 5,999, they seem to be slightly more on the expensive side. The Vivo TWS 2 ANC is a good-looking pair of earbuds with great battery backup, but it fails to impress where it matters the most – sound quality.